case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1999, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit heard the case of Pavon v. Swift Transportation Company, which centered on the protection of employees from discrimination and retaliation in the workplace under federal and state laws. Fernando Pavon, a Hispanic diesel mechanic, filed the lawsuit against Swift Transportation after facing racial harassment and slurs from a co-worker, Kevin Stirl. Despite repeatedly reporting the harassment, the company took no action, and Pavan was ultimately fired after his complaints. Pavan sued the company for violating federal and state civil rights laws and was awarded a total of $551,218 in economic, non-economic, and punitive damages. The court ruled that the issue of wrongful discharge under Oregon common law did not need to be addressed due to the validity of Pavon's claim under Section 1981. It also upheld the punitive damages awarded, asserting that pursuing Title VII claims did not bar Pavon from recovering damages under 42 U.S.C. Section 1981. Swift's argument that punitive damages were not available for Pavon's wrongful discharge claim under the Oregon Civil Rights Statute was rejected by the court. Instead, the court supported Pavon's awarded damages and maintained that any damages exceeding $300,000 could be attributed to claims other than those brought under Title VII. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.